It's another edition of Time About the Movies, and today we're taking a look at the one movie that came out on January 24th, 1992. And as you can see by the fact that I don't have the big lighting set up together, I'm really not going to put all that effort into this. Because really, is anybody really going to get upset that I didn't give this movie a proper review? I mean, it's love crimes for God's sakes. I mean, nobody's even heard of this movie until, actually, until I've actually talked about it, but... um. You know what, maybe I'm just over-exaggerating here, because you know what, I haven't seen the movie, I can't really comment on it too much, but um, the trailer's here, so let's take a look at the trailer, and who knows, maybe this is going to be one of those movies that completely surprises me, maybe one of those trailers that makes me want to see the movie, but who knows, but um, let's go ahead, surely it can't be that bad. He's every woman's fantasy. He kept whispering to me to be loud, and I couldn't stop. But the perfect date... You have lovely arms. Reminds me of a statue I saw in Paris. ...has become... At first, he made me feel... special. <laughs> the perfect nightmare... You're scaring me! You're scaring yourself. <laughs> ...to trap him. He knows exactly who to pick, and he won't fight back. This is to pit me. I'm Dolores Wilson. I'm a teacher. ...will have to make the ultimate sacrifice. Who are you? Are you a cop? Sean Young, Patrick Bergen, in a thriller that explores the fine line between love and love crimes. <laughs> love crimes. Well, that looks like shit. Good night, everybody. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, all right. All right, um... I'll give it its fair day in court. I mean, uh, what do I even need to say about this movie? It has um, John Young, Patrick Bergen, the director of this is Lizzie Borden, and not that Lizzie Borden, the one, the infamous Lizzie Borden. It's a completely different Lizzie Borden. But um, that's, I mean, it's pretty much all I got to say about it is that it's not directed by that Lizzie Borden, and it stars Sean Young. And, uh, Apparently, it was one of those movies by the... Okay, well, Miramax at the time, they had this thing called the Completion Bond Company, where they had people come in and take un unfinished projects and completely redo them by the, through this production company without the filmmakers ever knowing about it. Uh, Tom and Jerry, the movie, was one of the big examples of a movie being completed by the, by the Completion Bond Company. Uh, Richard Williams, The Thief and the Cobbler, was a big one as well. And this was another one. A couple years ago, Lizzie Borden actually had an interview with the important cinema club about Harvey Weinstein wanting the ending to be changed before the film's production. They didn't have a script going into this. They filmed this without a script going in. And even then, they took the film out of her hands. They had the, one of the filmmakers, Kit Carson, shoot flashbacks for this against her will. And her, she wanted her name taken off the film, but Weinstein threatened to destroy her career if she did, which, I mean, really... It took him almost 30 years to realize that Harvey Weinstein is a terrible, terrible person. I mean, uh, just, yeah, there was never a director's cut for it, and it was basically just a marketing ploy by Weinstein to release a version with more erotic footage in the hopes of drawing more box office. Because, heaven forbid, that a movie, that, an erotic footage movie in, 19, in early 92 makes a huge chunk of money at the box office. I mean, when would that ever happen again? Until a couple months later with Basic Instinct, but we'll get to that one because that one was a much better film. This is not, from this trailer alone, you can definitely tell that this is not going to be a good movie at all. I mean, this movie looks horrible on so many levels. Not even like a so bad it's good type of movie like some other movies that we'll get into in the coming weeks, but um, no, this just looks terrible. It's a bad movie that looks like something that was rushed into production to try to cash in on something that didn't even, that's not even a thing at the time. Because, like I said, uh, Basic Instinct wasn't even released until a couple months later. In fact, Sean Young would be in another par an another erotic thriller. It was basically a parody of erotic thrillers with Fatal Instinct a, couple, a year later, which was actually mu which actually was a whole lot better than this movie looks, that looks like. But, uh, again, we'll delve into that one when we get into that one. But, um, but really... You can just look at that trailer and just see that everything that you think is going to happen is going to happen. Like everything, like this, Sean Young's plan is going to go horribly wrong, and it's just—I don't know. It just looks. It's, there's nothing about this movie that makes me want to see it. And I, I'm telling you, people in 1992 would look at this and go, 
yeah, no, I don't want to see this. This doesn't look anything interesting. This looks terrible. I mean, what more do I even need to say about it? I mean, it looks like, like a terrible movie. And, uh, really... Is anyone really that surprised, honestly? Just by the way this looked? Yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you, man. I mean, I can't really say anything more about it, because I haven't seen it. I'm not gonna see it. I can't really talk about it. I really want to talk about it. It just looks like a bad movie on so many levels, so... Yeah, so that's Love Crimes. There, I gave it its fair day in court. There, we got that one out of the way. Can we do something fun next time around? Well, actually, we can, because next week we'll be looking at a, a movie that's so bad it's good. It's uh, Michael Douglas and Melanie Griffith in Shining Through. And some of you may know about the history of that movie, but um, if you haven't, just stay tuned for that one, because that's going to be a fun one to look at. We'll also look at Voyager 2. I don't know what that is, but... I know what Shining Through is, and that, trust me, that's going to be more enjoyable to talk about than Love Crime. So, um, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I promise I'll have a better setup next time around. But in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the playlist on the next page. Check out the previous episode, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take care.